So it's about nine in the morning on a Saturday. I'm usually never up in the morning like this. Like I'm just not a morning person, but I was up working on my first chapter of my video diary. I just posted it and I just was on social media and I saw that there's a farmer's market going on today. And I've never been to the farmer's market where I live now because it's usually in the morning and I am not up. It's gonna be lots of food. I love food. So I thought we'd go to the farmer's market together. <laughs> little fit on gingham dress that I got at the thrift store. It's actually blue and white, but it looks black and white. And then I have a vintage pair of chunky docks. And then I'm not bringing a purse. I'm just bringing my cute little bag, which I actually found this in the garbage in New York. Farmer's Market is food. So first of all, I have um, some corn. <laughs> I bought two pieces of corn on the cob. They were two for $1.50, pretty good deal. People that were selling this, there was a young girl there. She was eating the corn just like this. Like she just took it out like this and just ate it. She was eating like two cobs like that, two rolls. I didn't know you could eat corn on the cob like that without cooking it. And the young girl, I don't know, she was like maybe like 12. She was all about it. She's like, oh yeah, I love eating it like this is a snack. I had no idea. Anyways, it's supposed to be really good. Everybody was raving about how good the sweet corn is. So I love sweet corn. I could make a meal out of corn on the cob. Seriously. Okay, and the next thing? Well, there, there's two of the same thing again. And it's the last thing. Now, this was kind of the reason I went there because I actually saw these on social media. And I was like, oh my gosh, they're selling these at the farmer's market. I need to go get them. These are granola bars and they are freaking delicious. For fall, they have pumpkin spice. I haven't tried the pumpkin spice ones. This is a six pack of granola bars. And then I also got their, which these are my favorite, the cinnamon vanilla, which these are like the best granola bars I've ever had in my life. And they're like non-GMO, dairy free, soy free, gluten free. They're really freaking good. So these were two for 15, but you get six in each. And then I ate a egg roll that was apple pie. It was delicious. So yeah, that's, that's all I got from the farmer's market. Just food. So if you watched my last diaries, you may remember that I did some dumpster diving and also went through this old dead guy's house that had all this really cool furniture. It was a hoarder who lived there, so everything is just covered in like a layer of grime. I ended up putting it all in my van. It's not very ideal, but I feel like I finally have some time today to go and clean it all because I plan on selling everything that's in there. I have a friend who's really interested in the set of chairs that I got, so I want to clean them off just so I can give her like a better estimate on how much I should charge for them. If you remember, I got so many lamps, so I'm excited to see which one of those work. But the main thing is I just need to get this stuff out of my van because every time I drive, it's just like shifting and it's driving me insane. So let's go clean it off.
been so rainy. The mosquitoes are so bad right now. They're eating me alive. And I don't have anything to stop them from eating me. So I had to start a little fire. <laughs> I brought all of the smaller stuff in from the van. Things that I just really can't keep in the back of the van or they're just going to continue to get thrown around. So I'm gonna clean everything off and I'm gonna plug things in and see what stuff is actually worth keeping and selling. And if things don't work, I'll probably just end up giving them away for free. One thing, I don't know if you guys know about me, but I am a little bit of a germaphobe. I will definitely be wearing gloves for this. I will be washing all my clothes, every surface after I'm done with this. If you come to my house, you are definitely not wearing your shoes in my house. Do you know how dirty the outside world is? It's just Disgusting. Anyways, so let's clean this stuff off and we'll see what stuff is worth keeping, what stuff is worth selling, and hopefully I can make a little bit of money off of some of this. Let's clean it.
Hi guys. So I, um, I think it's like 10 o'clock. Yes, it is 10 o'clock and the grocery store closes at 11. I just realized I don't have like milk groceries. I have like nothing. I just been like eating scraps basically. I also have to drop off packages at the post office. That's something I do basically every day because that's my main source of income. I need to do laundry so I'm wearing the same thing and I haven't done my makeup so I've got a hat and my glasses. This is what you're getting. Could be worse. At least the camera quality isn't great so you can't really see what's going on. Okay let's go to the grocery store. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on those chairs that I cleaned off. Well, I had a friend who was interested in them. She saw me take them out of the dumpster on my Instagram. I got them all cleaned off for her and her and her husband just came to look at them. They have a huge house that they need to furnish. They ended up loving them. And then that other chair I had, that teal one with the wood that was really cool. They also ended up liking that one. I was gonna try and sell that for 200 online. And then the other chair is probably 100 each. I let them have that teal one with the wood for 50. And then I also let them have each of those black chairs for 50. They just needed four, but I had five of them and one was like kind of wonky. So I said they could just have that one. So I ended up making $250 from six chairs that I found in the dumpster. That's just one of my side gigs I like to do is go around and if I see things that are free or really cheap that have potential, I'll clean them up. And then it's all about taking really good photos of things and giving a good description. And then I'll put on like Facebook market place and usually things sell within a few days or a few weeks and it's just a good way to make some extra money. 